Mice could hold the key to treating hereditary deafness. Researchers at Harvard Medical School and Boston Children's Hospital are working on treating the same condition thought to have caused Beethoven to lose his hearing. Ursula Perry shows us how these scientists are using a new gene editing approach that they say could someday prevent profound hearing loss. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is a cornerstone of classical music. Hard to believe the composer himself was almost completely deaf from a genetic condition when he finished it. The children are born fairly normal, but then over 10 or 20 years, they lose their hearing. Now these aptly named Beethoven mice might hold the key to a potential cure. Scientists believe the animals have a defect in the same gene that many believe had caused Beethoven's deafness. Our genome is composed of about 3 billion letters of DNA that together make up about 20,000 genes. For the disease we're studying, one mistake in the DNA in one of the genes causes deafness. Researchers identified that hearing gene called TMC1. It's a gene that comes in pairs. Using a new refined gene editing system, they disabled the defective copy of the TMC1 gene, leaving the good gene in place. By eliminating just the bad copy, that would be sufficient to preserve hearing. The scientists then delivered the edited DNA back into the cells of the mice and then tested their hearing. We put little scalp electrodes on the back of the head, play sounds into the ear, and can measure the brain activity in response. Researchers say the mice were able to hear sounds as low as 45 decibels, the level of a quiet conversation. It could be life-changing. A famed composer, his namesake mice, and a team of scientists using cutting-edge medicine to help people who would otherwise go deaf here again. Scientists say this research actually will pave the way for using the same editing system for 3,500 other genetic diseases, all of them caused by one defective copy of one gene. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.